You see how that works? The governor says, let's do it and we get it done. Here we are today. We're going to uh, look in the backdrop here. You see another Roads to Prosperity project. This, this project is a fantastic project, a design build project, which means it's a partnership between a consultant and a contractor. Um, it's on a pretty reasonable schedule. The scope of the project is to rehab and widen, replace the deck. Uh, we'll do some painting after the first of the year. We think we'll have the road back open toward the end of February and the complete project completely finished by May. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna do what I am deeply honored to do is I'm going to uh, introduce the architect of the Roads to Prosperity and the Road of Economic Recovery for West Virginia. Uh, the great governor of the state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. Okay, thank you, Jimmy. Let me tell you all this before we go any further. This character right here, Bird, you've got to get up here. And this young man right here, they are doing a fabulous job for us. That's all there is to it. Bird is our Secretary of Transportation, and Jimmy is our Deputy Secretary. And I guess Bird's the commissioner as well, is that correct? But uh, what an incredible job they're doing. And today, you know, we're here to announce and celebrate some real, really greatness that has happened within West Virginia. Today, we're honored to be here on a Roads to Prosperity project and there's been so many, and I'll read some of those to you. But also today, we should recognize that on Monday, Monday was the second anniversary of the Roads to Prosperity program. Now on that anniversary, if we can just think back to when all this happened, 73% of West Virginians, 72 point some odd percent, but 73% of West Virginians voted in favor of that passage. And that passage also, I mean, almost encompassed $3 billion worth of road work, put thousands and thousands and thousands of people to work, and is working every day for us. It was the beginning, the beginning of our commitment to try to really move the state forward and do something with our economy. It was the beginning of going out and trying to genuinely do whatever we had to do to change maybe an image that was unfair and move us in a direction of real goodness. Now I've got to read a few things to you because, well, if I still got it, I got it. And I, and, and I normally don't read, but I've got to tell you just these things. Now, since that date, that the kind people of West Virginia decided to step up. Now, just imagine this. 541 projects completed, spread all across 55 counties, including paving, bridge repairs, slip and slide repairs, so much more. $385 million worth of work so far 1,185 miles of roads fixed. It's freeing up all kinds of extra money too for us to be able to work on secondary roads as well. And since March, I get this, we've since March, we have complete done, we have done, we have completed the core maintenance work on over 18,000. I mean, it's hard to imagine. 18,000 miles of West Virginia secondary roads. It's unbelievable. By the end of the year, we're scheduled to have completed or underway a billion dollars worth of road work through the Roads to Prosperity programs, and that's nearly a thousand projects spanning 1,700 miles. Now, Today, right behind us, we're on our way to the completion of a bridge. 
a bridge that will give us more width in our traveling and make life easier. Also today, and, and there's just so much, but this bridge project was a $4.2 million project, replacing the deck and widening it, just like I've already said. It's scheduled to be back in action in February. Now, there's another announcement today, and that's just this. As we celebrate all the great work that our Department of Transportation is doing every day, we've got a new sign, a new sign that we're going to put up on all of our Roads to Prosperity program, or, or projects to where our voters, our voters will see what their effort and their effort to vote in favor of this and to do so in a way in which many, many people were worried. And they were worried that there was going to be more new taxes left to layer in. There's going to have to be all kinds of additional taxation. And we told them there would not be any additional taxation and there hasn't been. And so we want people to be able to see and be proud. And so today, don't fall, Bert. Today, we're going to be, that's our new sign. And then we're going to put it up today as our first sign is right here with this bridge. But then we're going to be putting these up throughout the state. Really and truly, from my notes standpoint, I keep going over the same thing and then saying just this, this, is the work that has been accomplished is unbelievable. There's so much more that still needs to be done. Today, I was in Preston County and we were looking at some smaller side roads that surely need our attention. As our economy continues to grow, we've been able to do more and more. One of the things we should always be aware of is just this. If our economy slows, and right now, we're going through a little period where we're slowing just a little bit, we absolutely need to adjust and make every effort to always tighten our belt and do the very best we can. I picked up on this probably well, immediately after the July books came in, and we started in preparation. Now, September came in well, but I'm still always concerned. Even when things are just rolling the greatest, it's my job to worry. It's my job to be concerned, and I'm going to always treat it just that way. Now, as we go forward, the better and better West Virginia does, the more that we can pour into our secondary roads and get every road, every single road in this state fixed. That's the goal. We didn't get this way overnight. It took decades of neglect, and we ended up where we ended up. There's no point in beating on those that let everything go, but now today we're moving in a, in a new era to where we've replaced a lot of maintenance equipment, and we want to just keep on going. So the long and the short of it is, again, Bird and Jimmy and all you great people that work and work on these projects every, every day, thank you. It's working. Good Lord's bless us with a good summer. You know, from the standpoint, I wish it would rain, you know, so we don't have forest fires and help our farmers. But at the same time, it really helped us in, in, in regard to building roads. So, uh, again, thank you in every way. I like the way you wear your tie. You know, but uh, I can't ever thank y'all of you enough. And uh, and so we're just going to keep on keeping on. So I'm really proud of everybody. Thank you again.